thighs in space, heels together and toes apart, bringing your thighs nice and close and standing up lovely and tall. Okay, so your toes are apart and your knee, um, heels are together. From there, I'd like you to lift your shoulders up, drop them back, down and through. So think about bringing your scaps down, through and back. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears, breathe in, breathe out, and remove your shoulders away from your ears. So I want a nice long length, and again, breathe in, and breathing out, lovely. So nice, strong, let's take our mind down to the lumbo pelvic area, a nice, strong, braced, firm abdominals, okay? Slight connection into the glutes as well, and then from there, let's just take your heels away, and then your uh, feet facing forward. Placing your right hand onto your shoulder, and turn that back, okay. And one more time, stand up lovely and tall, and then the other side, so turn it around. That's it, lovely. Setting us up for the bank holiday weekend, <laughs> and then both hands onto the shoulders, and then turn back. Lovely one, how does that feel today? We've got some work to do through these shoulders, and certainly elevating the heart rate. Taking your hands down, circle back your right arm, and then your left arm. Okay, and again, circle back right, and then left. Placing your arms into a Cossack pose, so just taking your hands together. From there, rotate round to the right side, and then come up through to the centre, and then over to the other side, and again. And then through, and then down. Okay, we're going to fold forward. So take your arms down, lift them up to the top, and fold it forward, yes, and dropping down towards the floor, inhale, exhale, and roll it back up. Yeah, so we fold forward, bring the arms up, bring it down and forward, yeah? Inhale, and then exhale, and roll it back up. All right, and again, take the arms up through with you. Fold it over and forward, low as you can. Okay, now hold on to the back, just on your back of your ankles, and draw your body in towards you yeah towards your thighs to get a lovely stretch down into the back into the back of the thighs into the hamstrings okay inhale exhale and then bring that up all the way up to the top shoulders back and down and circle back bring them into a frontal raise just come up forward and then lower and again so come up forward and lower now take the right arm away and the left arm away. Ripple forward, so really waking up the upper spine, yeah? So the thoracic and cervical part of our spine, we're waking it up, yeah? Round and through and open. Bringing your right arm over to your left and keep the arm there and then reach over, yeah? So we're moving the spine into a lateral flexion over and through. Let's go into rotation. So bringing the palms together and rotate. So we're going to go over to the right side, into the centre, and then over to the left. And again, over to the right, and then over to the left. Okay. Drawing the arms down. So flexion extension. So take the arms up, go back into a baby back bend. Yeah, back into that baby back bend. Fold it forward, bring it forward, and hold on to the back of your ankles. Hold there, okay, getting that lovely stretch. Inhale, exhale, and then take it up and through. Taking your shoulders back and down, take your arms open and ripple forward. So we come forward and open, yeah? Forward and open, love it. And then lateral flexion, so coming over, and then the other side, over, okay. There uh, we go, and then one more, okay, and then bring the arms together into that rotation, palms together, and rotate through the spine to the right, and then to the left, okay, and again, round to the right, and then to the left, okay, we're going to need our mats in a moment, but just before we do, circle back the shoulders, we're going to roll down and go into a down dog, and then come back up again, okay, so standing just to the side, from this position, drop your head, neck and shoulders and then just roll it down. Walking the hands forward and coming into your down dog. Okay, from here, bring your hands back in and then roll it back up and through. Okay, so from this position guys, what I'd like us to do is just stand up nice and tall, hands back into your Cossack pose and then just turn. Yeah, 
and again. Just turn one more time. Now try and keep the hips towards me as you turn this time. And round. Okay, lovely. Draw the hands down to the side. Give me three abductions onto the right leg. So take the right leg away. One and two and three. Now give me one squat. So bring it forward, sit back into the heels and lift. Do that the other side. One and two and three. Now give me that squat. So sit back into those heels and lift. One more time. So abduct one and two. Last time. And three. Now go into that squat. Sit back and bring it forward. And the other side. One. Last one. Two. And this is your very last one. Three. And squat down. Lovely. Drop your head, neck and shoulders. I'll show you sideways. Roll it down, walking the hands away with you into your down dog position. Lift up through to the right leg. Pick it up. Okay, and then drop that down. And the other side. Coming up. And then drop that down. Lovely. Pedal push the feet out. So pedal push, bring it up the heels, stretching out those calf muscles. Three and two and one taking that heel down now come up onto the tiptoes tiptoes up so i'm pushing my weight down in through my shoulders drawing in through the abdominals three two one take that down bend the knees walk your hands in and roll it up all the way up to the top and then just take your hands onto your shoulders and then circle back so that's our little warmer okay you should be feeling better and now we're going to do um, a little bit of sort of hip wide and then from there just come into the right side. So come into the right, up to the top and then over. Keep that going, just gonna check something on the camera. Okay, lovely. So bringing the weight down into the right and then over into the left. Okay, to make this a little bit more difficult, you can place your hand down. So you're working from the waist. Yeah, so from, think about from belly button down. Take it down, make it a little bit harder. You can take the opposite arm up. Yeah, so you reach up to the sky and through. And again, one, two, three, and four. Bring it into the center, hold it here. Inhale, exhale, and roll it up. Bring in your shoulders back and down. Legs nice and wide, sit back. Little squat, so you open up through the pelvis and then sitting back. Okay, and again. So as you come up, just a little tilt, yeah? Bring the pelvis forward. And again, one, and reach. Lovely, guys, how you feeling? Down and through. Let's go back to that little sequence. So we're gonna come down to my right and down to my left. Two more. Down to my right and then down to my left. Bringing the arms around in front of you, come down into four squats. One, keep the arms here. Sit back, nice and low. You can go a little bit lower than this now. Down and lift. Last time, down and lift. Lovely, circle back the arms. One and two. Okay, guys. Okay, so let's just roll it down all the way through. Lovely. And then from here, just walking the hands forward and then dropping down onto your knees and then coming over onto your back. Okay, so lying down onto your back. Lovely, set yourself up nice and comfortable. All right, so coming down, lying down on your back. Okay, so to begin with nice, easy crunches. So take your hands at the side of your head, an apple between your chin and your chest, and then lift up and lower yeah. and again so lift up and curl and lower okay. one more time lift and through okay take your arms behind you stretch them away okay so from here i'm going to lift up as i lift up i'm going to bring my hands up so i come into a seated position and there i am nice and tall yeah i'm going to roll it down coming down taking my arms behind me yeah and then I'm going to bring them over as I come up into a seated position, pushing myself up with my forearms, and there I'm up to the top. And again, so C curve back, 
roll it back, taking your arms behind you. The next one we're gonna add on. So I'm gonna bring the arms over, bringing myself up. From here, I push up. So I take my hips away from the mat, I come down, through, and back. And again, bring it over, bring yourself up, through, lift, down, and lower. So roll it down, take it through, over we go. So it's lifting through the heart rate up and squeeze up to the top. Okay, last one. Let's take it down all the way and the right leg into a tabletop and then your left leg into a tabletop. Open out your arms so you're into a scarecrow and then just tap down onto the right and then lift and tap down onto the left. So you're not changing the pelvis, yeah? So nothing is rocking, your tummy is not bulging. And if it is, then maybe you could take it the other way. So you could come down and then lift up to tabletop. Yeah, so you take it the opposite way. Okay, so with me, so I'm gonna come down and lift and then down and lift. Hold that there, guys. Bringing your hands just to the side of your head, and we're going to crunch here and back and again. So I'm crunching through, so it's like a reverse crunch and release and again. So crunch and release. Four more. Crunch, release. Three more. Squeeze and release. Two more. Squeeze and release. Last one, squeeze and release. Lovely. Taking your hand arms, get your feet down, and then from there, taking your hands just to the side of your thighs, and then lift your head and shoulders away from the mat, and then throw it down. And again, up we go. Squeeze. So just touching the side of your thighs. Yeah. One more time. Up to the top, squeeze. Come on to your side, yes, yeah? so come on to your left side and up. So I'm bringing myself onto my side, I'm onto my forearm and my legs are bent. Okay, I'm going to go into a thread like a needle, but I'm going to keep it into a plank position, yeah, as a mini plank and I'm going to extend it into a full plank. So from here, this is lift up, so elevate the hips away from the mat. They're still stacked on top of one another. Take the arm up towards, the hand up towards and then drop down and lift up yeah, and again scoop it under and lift one more time come under thread the needle so you're twisting through the spine place that hand down if you want to take the legs away from you all right so the top leg is on the bottom yeah so I'm on my my top leg is down and then my right leg is down also Take the arm away, really feeling it through the waist area. Arm up, thread the needle. One, and again, two, and release. One more time, three, and release. One, and hold up there. Take that down, and come into a seated position. Okay. So from here, guys, sit up nice and tall. Take your arms away from you and tilt the pelvis and roll it back, just halfway, and then up to the top. And again, so C curve, yeah? Take the chin down, C curve, and lift. And again, one more time, C curve, and lift. So we're gonna go into a boat pose now. So to show you sideways, you still face me, to show you sideways, I'm going to take myself back slightly, yeah? So I'm kind of like, if you look at my body, it's in a V position, yeah? I can place my hands behind me, and now I'm gonna come up into a tabletop, yeah? So I'm gonna lift up into tabletop and lower. That's it. I'm not pushing. What I'm not doing is this. I'm not leaning into my, uh, my body weight into my hands. I'm sitting up, so I'm pushing the chest forward and the shoulders back, okay? So from here, stay here on the right and stay here on the left. Bring in your right arm around, and then your left arm around, and there we're in the boat pose. So we're gonna go into the sprinter's jog, okay? So think opposite elbow, opposite knee, as if you're running on the spot. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Hold it there. Hold. Three, two, one. Bring the knees down. Hug the knees and through. So remember, these are little repetitions. I'm keeping it quite small. Still elevating the heart. So this is a workout clip that you can go back to. You can, it'll be saved onto the page and then you can refer to it over and over again. Okay, come in round to the centre and then come on to the other side. So side, we're going to go in to thread the needle. So from here, I'm going to lift up here. I'm going to take my arm up towards the sky and then I'm going to come under. Thread the needle and lift. And again, thread the needle. And lift. Okay, remember, we can make it a little bit more difficult now. So I take my top leg away and my bottom leg underneath. Yeah, and now thread the needle down and lift. Remember, you can take yourself back to your three-quarter plank if you want to. And down and lift. Lovely, guys. Take it down all the way down to the mat and bring yourself over onto your front into pro position. Taking your hands just inside of you, lift yourself up and push back into your child's pose. Okay, tuck your toes underneath you and then just again bring yourself forward into a cobra. Okay. And then come back and push yourself up into a down dog. Okay, down dog and then come through into a plank. All right, so rather than the cobra, you come into a plank. So I'm gonna lift up, squeeze back towards my weight, towards my chest, and then I'm gonna come forward. Okay, and again, so up and through, squeeze. Lifting high, your tailbone up to the sky, abdominals raised, and in. We're gonna do a walking plank. So from here, take your right forearm down and then your left forearm down. Take your right and walk it back up. So think of it walking like a ladder. So we come down and down, up and up. And again, down and down, lift up and up. Drop one knee, drop the other knee, sit back into that lovely child pose. Place your right hand on top of your left and keep your head down. And then change that over so you're really getting stretched right the way down the lats. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring yourself in, roll your up, yourself up to four. Just tuck your toes underneath you, and then walk your hands back in. Bringing your hands just to a fist, down at the side, outside of your knees, yeah? From here, roll yourself back. So I'm into a, to into a little um, ball of a squat. And then from here, I'm gonna drop my head, and I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna walk my hands back in, and I'm gonna roll it up. I'm gonna take my shoulders back and down, and I'm gonna come to the center of my mat. Okay guys, let's take our circle on our right and take our circle on our left. Let's take the right arm across and squeeze the shoulder in. A nice stretch right away through the posterior delts and the other side. Okay, so hopefully that little workout, functional conditioning, elevated the heart rate slightly, but it's also just so good for your joints. There's no impact in it, no pressure going through the knees, Place your hands behind you and open the chest. And it's just great for your joints and, and perfect for your posture. Three, two, one. Open up your arms, guys. Ripple forward and open back. And again, one more time. Ripple forward and open back. Just take it up and over. How does that feel? I bet that feels a lot better now, doesn't it? Okay, guys, hope you're feeling good. Set you up for a brilliant bank holiday weekend. Placing your hands together and then over. Possibly even celebrations for the BB day tomorrow. And then over. One more time. Draw 
your arms down, guys. Circle back. Three, two, and one. And brilliant, you are done.